Just two weeks after the U.S. president and his U.N. ambassador were sent to stage at the United Nations General Assembly, Nikki Haley is resigning. Speculation is rife about why, and the timing caught many officials by surprise. But in front of the cameras, at least, their parting was amicable. Look at what has happened in two years with the United States on foreign policy. Now the United States is respected. Countries may not like what we do, but they respect what we do. The America First policy was never popular at the United Nations, but Haley did score some successes. Sanctions resolutions against the DPRK's nuclear and missile program forged with China and Russia, a rare moment of consensus in the Security Council. But she was also a hawk on Iran, fully backing Washington's withdrawal from the nuclear deal and pushing for a tougher line against Tehran throughout the UN. The United States has evidence of consistent and wide-ranging Russian violations. She did differ from the president when it came to Russia, sometimes getting ahead of him when it came to strong words against Moscow. But in Tuesday's Oval Office meeting, nothing but praise for her boss. Nikki Haley, ambassador to the United Nations, has been very special to me. She's done an incredible job. She's a fantastic person, very importantly, but she also is somebody that gets it. She has been at the United Nations from the beginning with us, right from the beginning, and worked with us on the campaign. A rising star in the Republican Party, there's been speculation she may challenge Trump for the party's presidential nomination in 2020. Sitting next to Trump, however, she ruled that out. No, I'm not running for 2020. I can promise you what I'll be doing is campaigning for this one. The resignation comes, however, as U.S. popularity in the world plunged to generational lows and as the U.S. pulls out of or away from many U.N. institutions like the Human Rights Council, the International Court of Justice and the International Criminal Court and has stopped funding some U.N. agencies, further eroding international support. So speculation already rife about who will replace Nikki Haley. Lots of names out there, but whoever is selected and then has to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate will have to defend the America First policy in front of the world. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.